Hey guys, in today's video, I'm making a super easy, luxurious body moisturizer. It's silky and creamy to the touch, and it doesn't have a greasy feel. It leaves the skin nice and soft and with a beautiful glow. Want to see how I combine natural oils and butters to make this luxurious body moisturizer? Keep watching! So you only need a few ingredients to make this luxurious body moisturizer. The first ingredient I will be using is Maru Maru Butter. So Maru Maru Butter is a plant-based butter that comes from a type of palm plant and can be used to soften the skin as well as hair. So I'm going to start by measuring out my Maru Maru Butter and I'm making a very small batch just for myself so I will only need to use about 11 grams of this butter. So next, I'm measuring out my emulsifying wax. So an emulsifier is needed because for this recipe, I will be combining oils and water together. And in order for them to mesh, we need a binding agent. And that's where our emulsifier comes in. So this particular emulsifying wax is derived from vegetable oils. I like to keep the products that I use as natural as I possibly can. My next ingredient is acetyl alcohol, and you might be thinking, alcohol? Yes, I'm using acetyl alcohol as my second emulsifier and to give my moisturizer the perfect texture. So although we associate the name alcohol with a drying agent, this particular fatty alcohol is very moisturizing. It actually binds moisture to the skin. It's typically derived from the coconut tree and it helps to combat dry, flaky skin. Now I'm measuring out my natural oil. I'm using 34 grams of sweet almond oil. It's the perfect oil for me because it's not too light or too heavy and it's easily absorbed into the skin. Now I'm combining my oil, butter, and emulsifying wax and my acetyl alcohol together in one container to melt them down. So these are all of my non-water soluble ingredients, meaning they won't combine with water on their own. You can always substitute other butters and oils in the place of what I'm using. When it comes to moisturizing the skin, the most important ingredient is water. So I'm measuring my distilled water. This is also the largest portion of all of the ingredients. I added 226 grams of water. Now I'm placing my container of oils, butters, and emulsifiers, as well as my distilled water into a water bath so that they can both heat up at the same time and at the same temperature. And throughout the process, I will be checking my temperatures to make sure my ingredients don't overheat and remain within an optimal temperature range. Now that my ingredients are melted and at the optimal temperature, I'm just going to combine my distilled water with my oils, butters, and emulsifiers together. And I'm left with this beautiful, milky looking mixture. And now it's time to emulsify my mixture. So the goal is to get a beautiful, creamy, thick, lotion-like texture. And to do that, I'm using an emulsion blender. So I blend the mixture for a couple of minutes, then I let the mixture sit for about eight to 10 minutes. And then I blend some more and repeat this step several times until my moisturizing lotion has reached my desired texture and level of thickness. So for the small batch that I'm making, it shouldn't take more than 30 to 40 minutes between emulsifying and waiting for me to reach my desired thickness. And as you can see, it's starting to thicken up. It just takes a little bit of patience.
And now I have a lovely thick and creamy silky looking moisturizer. So guys, this came out perfect. So my next step is to preserve it. So if you plan to try this recipe, you can use whichever preservative you like. I also like to add the preservative to a smaller amount of the moisturizer to make sure that it's stable before adding it to the entire batch. And once it's mixed in well, I go ahead and add it back into my larger batch and stir it up. Next, I'm adding in my vitamin E oil as my antioxidant, which is going to help fight off free radicals. So I like to make sure that it's stirred in really well, and you can also use your wire whisk attachment that comes with most emulsion blenders for this part to make sure that everything is mixed really well, or you can use the emulsion blender itself. But since the moisturizer has actually already thickened up, using the emulsion blender can be kind of difficult, but just do whatever works best for you. Now I'm adding in my fragrance. So for this moisturizer, I'm adding in a fragrance that reminds me of milk and honey. It's really light, soft, and has an airy smell. It's really nice. Again, I just make sure that it's stirred in really, really well. Now I'm adding my completed moisturizer to my four ounce jar. So it can get a little messy, so just be really careful when transferring the moisturizer so you don't lose any of your product. So guys, this moisturizer was so easy to make and it feels so luxurious on my skin. It absorbs in so easily and my skin has a nice silky feel and a beautiful glow. I'm just gonna pop on a label that I made myself and I now have my own version of the most luxurious body moisturizer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Products that I use can be found in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!